Hello again, bronies, pegasisters, and non-believers. I am Raz, and I am back with Earth Defense Force Insect Armageddon. Yeah, unfortunately I haven't been able to track down anyone yet to play the campaign with, so I'm probably just going to do a single player for now and see what happens in the near future. But, without further ado, I figure I might as well start the campaign and, you know, I'm recording it too. Why not? I did say I would record it, most likely, so... Hmm... I'm not sure what difficulty to go for. I think we'll go hard. I guess we go to Chapter 1, Mission 1. Strike Force Lightning. EDF Operations here. I will be your Acting Operational Liaison. As you know, Earth is under attack by a force composed of alien entities and what appear to be genetically manipulated terrestrial insects. We are calling these invaders Ravagers, an apt name as they are currently ravaging cities around the globe. A particularly large Ravager has been reported in a residential area of New Detroit. Your mission is to locate and eliminate it. I will be monitoring your progress via your camera system to provide routing and tasking information as needed. Op 4 is composed of massively large insectoid creatures as well as robotics. The good news is, our weapons seem effective <coughs> against the ant-like insectoids. Robots are tougher, and we're seeing more and more of them. The Ravagers have been hitting us hard, but we're holding ground where we can. They've been erecting some type of shield walls that have made things very difficult. They can get through them. We can't. Okay, so I guess that's our mission. <laughs> I didn't really want to talk over that, but... Apparently I have four different classes to choose from. I kind of like the look of the battle class. Heavy armor, big guns, looks pretty cool. Trooper we saw in survival, bit of everything. Tactical. Hmm. Seems to be sort of like a slightly lighter version of the trooper. Better, better equipment, smaller weapons or something. Yeah, I think I'll go with the jet guy for now, see what happens. I do like the color schemes, that's pretty neat. I like that one too. Ooh, there's more weapons. Lots more weapons, that's kind of cool. So... Go with the assault rifle. And... No rocket launchers, stop the shame. Missile launchers, couple grenade launchers, and I can also have a sniper rifle apparently. So I think we'll go with a missile launcher just to be safe. Hmm. Doesn't look like I can actually change my class if I wanted to, so that's a bit of a shame. Oh, hey, pal, let's dive in. I up some of those bugs down there. Those people can use a little love from above. Weapons are hot. Ops here, lightning. We need to deploy your squad at the edge of this residential district. That is the operational staging area for this sector. Stop slating Alpha here. We copy. Mm, that's a familiar voice. I swear I can't play a video game without hearing that guy's voice these days. Ops, this is Archangel. Go ahead, Archangel. Them meteor-looking things fall from the sky? Well, they ain't just rocks, you hear? Roger that, Archangel. We have reports of some large robotics being dropped from orbit. Intel believes these meteors are insertion pods. Well, Doc, I'll be the first to tell you them bozos have it right for once. I just swerved to miss one of them suckers. I never wanted to be anything. <laughs> Alright, Ops, I need to get this thing somewhere less occupied. You hear? Stand by, Archangel. Now sending coordinates for your drop zone. It's the best we're going to be able to do. Sweet. Lightning, get ready for insertion. This is a hot LZ. I will be dropping you on the street in Uno Mike. Roger, Archangel. I get to play soon. <laughs> Henry Combat! Looks like we're going down. I'm gonna mow the lawn on the way out, so heads up and butts down, amigos. Okay, the jet trooper has a jet pack, as I suspected. <laughs> Oh, it has limited fuel. Why am I not reloading? Oh, crap. Lightning. Archangel is down. Say again, Archangel is down. Oh no, we lost Garrus. 
We're now officially screwed. You'll need to get to the lander. Check for survivors and see if the craft is salvageable. There's a waypoint indicating the lander's You know, when I was playing survival, Approach the guns seem to do a lot more damage. I'm not sure if that's just a jet trooper has weaker weapons or the survival mode is designed to be lighter or easier. I'm not feeling the weapon here. This is not doing as much damage as I would like. Oh, well, that's what missile launches are for. That's a bit more like it. Having problems reloading again. Oh. I don't get it. it. Seems like if my jetpack runs out of fuel, I can't reload my guns. What does my energy reserve have something to do with my weapon? A little bit weird. Yeah, I seem to bleed energy when I'm out of ammo. I have no idea what that is. It's a bit of a weird design choice. I guess everything's like plugged into my suit or something. Oh, that's a bit more depth to the game because I have to manage my energy reserves and my ammunition. And I'm not doing a very good job of either because things are not dying again. God damn, even the missile launcher seems to be ineffective today. Yes. Okay. Just die already. This is not working. Getting overrun big time. Ha, I made the reload that time. At least the AI seems to be failing horribly. <laughs> Can't say they're the most intelligent soldiers, but they are at least holding the line. Better than I'm doing, that's for sure. Ow. We need to get over to the chop or so I might just bail and get over there. Doing a very good job of that. I don't think we've moved all that fast. My teammates are not following me. Why is your paintball gun? It's mildly effective. Hindsight, picking the jet trooper doesn't seem like a good idea. I thought the jetpack would be fun, but it looks like the jetpack is kind of my one trick. My weapons ain't doing very good. I don't really have any other abilities at the moment. So hopefully I can either swap classes later or I can get some added abilities soon. Otherwise, I'm not going to be very effective for the entire game, and that's not going to be fun. Approach the lander and activate the transponder module. Okay. Enlighten me. How do I do that? Um. Lady on the radio, get a help. Ah, oh, crap. There's a green button here. Here we go. Help if you pay attention. Okay, we're receiving data. Looks like there are no survivors and the lander is not salvageable. Lightning? You need to destroy what's left of the lander. Wait, what? We've added a pulse signal to the self-destruct countdown sequence. It should attract any nearby ravages and take them out in the blast. Make sure you get out of the blast radius prior to detonation or... Well, it won't be good. Copy that. Yeah, I kind of figure if we're going to self-destruct an entire landing craft, it's probably going to explode and kill the entire area. So how do I trigger, trigger that off? Well, same button. You gotta love the future, everything is wired to one button. Time to abandon ship. Oh, I just noticed my health is practically gone. Lightning, 
ages. Great. I'll use my mildly effective assault rifle on them. Oh crap. Even less effective rocket launcher. Teammates is down. Ow. Great. The least you could have done was try and pick me up, you idiot. Okay, note to self, AI teammates, not very useful. So. Strike Force Lightning. EDF operations here. I will be your acting operational liaison. As you know, Earth is under attack by a force composed of alien entities and what appear to be genetically manipulated terrestrial insects. We are calling these invaders Ravagers, an apt name as they are currently ravaging cities around the globe. A particularly large Ravager has been reported in a residential area of New Detroit. Your mission is to locate and eliminate it. I will be monitoring your... Yeah, we already heard this. Can I skip the cutscene too? Those people can use a little love from above. Weapons are high. Oh, apparently I'm actually in control at this point. Here, I didn't even notice that the first time. <laughs> Maybe that would have made some difference, but I actually paid attention to the first one around. I didn't realize you could, you know, shoot. This is Archangel. Go ahead, Archangel. Them meteor-looking things fall from the sky? Not playing EDF anymore, we're playing House of the Dead, folks. I can wait until after this recording. Let's see if I can do any better this round. So the rock was no better. Really, I thought they just, you know, decided to land in a very dramatic fashion. Check for survivors and see if the craft is salvageable. There's a waypoint indicating the lander's location on your tactical display. Approach and secure the area. Affirmative. This time I'm not gonna screw around, I'm just gonna go. Mostly because I wasted too much health the first time around. Oh, there's health power-ups. That would have been nice to have noticed the first time. I'm really not doing a very good video. Missing key elements. Getting myself killed. Although, I'm still not happy with this assault rifle. I mean, come on. At least the assault rifle for the trooper did damage. This thing doesn't even seem to be affecting them. Maybe more annoying than damaging. And the rocket launcher didn't even get me started. Receiving data. Looks like there are no survivors and the lander is not salvageable. Lightning, you need to destroy what's left of the lander. We're gonna actually pull this off. The Ow. Well, that didn't go well. Make sure you get out of the blast radius Aha. Thank you, mate. Well, it won't be good. Copy that. 
I do try not to get yourselves killed again. Might gun level up or something. All of a sudden, it actually seems to be doing damage. Scratch that, my guns are not doing damage again. Well, they seem to open up and cluster fire or something when they get up these inches along. I can't really tell what's going on, but they seem to explode with more force the longer they go. I guess that's what I'm supposed to do, is get range on these things. Out of energy again. Get off me! Ow. In double hindsight, I probably should have read the class descriptions better rather than just looking at the uniforms and thinking that one looks cool just because he had a jetpack. Yeah, I think I have to go for range. I maybe should look at a sniper rifle in the near future. That seems to be where I'm most effective is when they put some distance between me and they might actually seem to do damage. Which is a very odd and also annoying design. Why my assault rifle has to do that, I don't know. The rocket launcher I can kind of understand. The fact that Cluster fires after a few of these. Whatever. We live in there. Slightly. Ow. You know, I don't find it very amusing that they said destroy the remaining Ravagers, and they're doubled in numbers since we started. Perhaps even tripled. I mean, come on, there was not this many when we blew up the transporter. Yeah, they're back on their feet, don't worry. For a second or two they were, anyway. I wonder if I can get up on the roof. Climb! Just a little further! Yes! This will give me some distance. Ah, oh, crap, I fell off. Well, for a very brief moment, I was Spider Man. Abandoned ship! That building totally came down because of the Ravagers, not my rockets. You didn't see anything. Yeah, okay, I can't really do this. It's too close again. Med kits all over the place, pick one up if you're injured. Lightning. Ah, thank Oxio. god. 
You've got a bunch of ravages in the area, and as you can see, they are surfacing from what seems to be a giant anthill. Intel, any info well, they are ants. These anthills? Mining, this is Intel. You can lay down the suppressing fire with your rifle, or use grenades to slow the flow of ants, but that will destroy the anthill. You need to get close to it and plant a charge on it to take it out. What is up with the voice acting in this game? I'm sorry, but I just noticed that there. The whole, you need to plant a charge on it. I don't know, maybe that was just me mishearing, but that just sounded really weird for some reason. Oh, well, whatever. Let's get these explosives down before more ants show up. I can definitely see where the co-op comes in. I mean, there's so many bloody ravages. You're gonna need the extra firepower, and you guys are not helping very much. Plus, fake with the whole suppressing it to slow the ants down while someone plant the charges. I can definitely see teamwork being required for this game to work as well as. At the moment, the AI are just extra guns and extra bullets. Not very good one for that. Oh well, they're doing their job. They get eaten by the ants while I don't. Now what are we doing? They didn't see the objective update. I guess we just shoot everything again. Check. There is an objective marker for over that way, so let's check it out. Come on, I can just make it! Yes! I'm not sure I left my teammates for dead, but screw them. I don't like to help me that much anyway. I blew up the anthill here, so I guess it, I guess it is just clear out the ravages. Let's do it then. I think I noticed the number of them a while ago. Just saying, mate. You're not telling me anything new at this point. Ah, missed the reload. Really not a good time for it. Not going so well. Rapidly gaining on me. I'm not doing a very good job of hitting these rockets either. Let's see if I can get something with uh, tracking very soon. Lock on feature. I am activating a waypoint. Yay. Make your way to the location and regroup. Affirmative. Let's go then. Down a move! Don't give up, man! I must admit, this game is quite intense. Crap. I mean, I, I kind of knew survival mode would be crazy, but I didn't realize the campaign would be this bad. Certainly not holding back. Oh hi! Lots more of you. I'm starting to question why I even have an assault rifle. It doesn't do anything, and the rocket launcher just nails them all in one shot once you get the hang of it. Oh crap, fell in the sinkhole. Especially with since it's scatter shots. I like that. Ah, I'm out of energy, damn it. Funny how I'm out of energy so I can't reload or use my jetpack, but I can still boost around the map at full speed. Couldn't that be disabled too? And it is still a jetpack. Come down from there. I'm the only one who's allowed to rooftop hop.
We didn't need that fence. In my way. Whoa! Flying truck. As if giant insects weren't bad enough, we have giant insects that can throw cars at you. Next thing you know, you'll have a giant spider that can pick up and throw a building. You need to climb on it when you can use it as a projectile. Anyway, we're almost to the rally point, so better get a move on. That's the last of them for the moment. Hey everybody! Okay, Sorry we're late. Something tells me I'm not going to like this. Oh, crap. Distance. Well, we're doing a really good job of holding the rally point, aren't we? As soon as something shows up, we just abandon the post and run. At least I have the excuse of needing distance for my weapons to effectively work. Up. Okay, now that wasn't even my fault that time. I'm pinning that on the AI. That building didn't have to die, man. You're killing innocents. Bat! Innocents. What the hell happened to my tongue just then? Crap. See, in that building too! You're killing innocent buildings, man! People are living in those things. God damn it. Last time I take you on a mission. Trigger happy morons. Uh, I am not picking up the insurance claim on this stuff. You need to clean out another anthill to secure this sector. Right. I've activated a new waypoint that marks its location. Proceed to Ironically enough, I'm standing right next to it. Okay, uh, <sighs> I don't know, I don't see this game being something you could play for long periods. I don't to notice that, it seems very repetitive at the moment. Not that I'm not having fun, but I don't see myself playing like several levels in a row if it's going to be the same thing, more or less. I'm going to make a run for the till. It's back, jetpack, jetpack! Where is it there? Oh, oh, oh this is gonna hurt bad. Ow. Oh man, it resets every time I get hit. It's even worse. I'm gonna have to thin him out of it first. Oh snap, there's more of them. Hi! Bye! Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me! I'm sorry for breaking your face. I'm sorry for killing your friends. Don't kill me, please! I'm supposed to kill you! Crap, they're coming after me again. Worst tank ever! I need a new one, you can't hold aggro. Eh! DPS, not tanks, just stop looking at me! Well, if you do your job for two seconds, I'll do mine, and we can get out of here. Ow, ow, I'm almost dead. Crap. Time to run. Get a health power up or two. Whoa! Snap, these things are everywhere. And all the medkits are on the other side of the battlefield, of course. Snap, snap, snap. That's one. Oh, that gave me absolutely nothing. Gonna need about five of them before I can go back in there. That's a bit better. One more. There. I'm digging the jetpack though. The weapons might not be that great, but damn if the jetpack isn't cool. Alright, you two, head back in there and distract them. I'll do the bomb, and then we can all go home happy. Except for you, you'll probably lose a limb or two, but 
collateral damage is necessary for this mission. Alright. Now that all the ants are a mile away chasing these guys. Well, they're not, because there's another wave coming. Great. Nah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't hurt me. Gotta be a way to slow them down long enough to get in there and plant the bomb. So I could just pull down a hole and be ineffective at everything. Abandoned ship! Okay, we've got a second. Dive in. Another second. Yes! Got it that time. Now we abandon ship. Oh, this gun must be good if it can tear through a cement barrier. Well, it can tear through a barrier, but it can't tear through giant aliens held down in our destruction, so... I'm questioning where the budget went on this one. I guess we just clear them out again. Alright, as I said, this game doesn't seem very good for longevity. You know, I don't see myself playing much beyond a level or two each sitting. Not there's anything wrong with the game, but it just seems like, you know, I mean, this is one level and we've already done the same objective like three times. Hey, oh, I froze it again. Ah, uh, still one out there. Where is he? Here, giant insect buddy. Ha! That's how you do it. Didn't even take the building out. Where are ya? Oh, barrier you there. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I can't get back there, damn it. Here, giant ant creature, hello. a new waypoint on your map marking the location of the EDF supply dump. Make your way over there and refit, and make it quick. You have more ravages incoming. Lightning on our way. Okay. How long are these levels? Just curious, you know, I mean, we've already been here for what, like 15, 20 minutes or more? I have no concept of time right now. I'm going the wrong way. Whee! You guys should try this, man, this is awesome! Jetpacks for the win. Short stack of buttermilk pancakes sure hit the spot right now. Tell you, oh look, more giant ants. Hmm. Lightning. Oh, hello. Intel is calling these things hectors. They say that this is one of the smaller variants. But still quite dangerous. Smaller Again, variants? It's built like King Kong! My god, I hate to see the big ones! Oh. Same rules apply, I guess. The bigger they are, the harder you shoot them. Okay, let's see. Plasma projectiles. Lots of plasma projectiles. Hmm. I guess this counts as our boss battle for the level. Stubborn bugger. Charge attack. I don't even know why I'm bothering with the assault rifle. I changed it after you hit some of the ants, but I'm using it on him instead. Not very smart. I don't think it's gonna do much good. Oh! Hello! From this distance, he still hates me. Alex. Now the ants are thinned out. At the base! Oh, he's got rocket launchers too. The 
Good thing I stole the armor boost. I mean, put to good use. Yeah. My teammates weren't gonna make any use of them. I'm gonna need some distance, otherwise, this is gonna work. Oop, that rock went wide. Now, how much health does this guy have? I'm not really seeing any signs of damage. No health bar that I can see. I guess we just keep pummeling him until he stops moving. Hmm. I can't help but be reminded of the avatars of Kane from Chronicles of the Three. Funny that I would think of that now. But he does kind of look like a brotherhood of Nazi people. Kind of sounds like him too. The laser beams, man. Always with the laser beams. Oh, come on. My finger's getting sore from all this clicking. Hello. Oh, five walls. Okay, I'll admit this is pretty damn impressive. I don't say that often about boss battles. Yay! Crap, I almost I'm almost dead. I didn't even realize my health was dropping so far. There's one. There we go. Oh no, that building. I'm pretty sure that was some had some historical significance. Hey! That tree, man, that tree! Stop destroying all the trees! Stomach the building going down, but not the tree. Oh god, you cruel and different monster. Okay, now we're starting to get borderline ridiculous. I've been shooting at this guy for what? Ten minutes now? Well, at least he could do is show some signs of damage, you know, like an arm dropping off or something. Oh snap! Ow! Jared stepped on me. Ow! Oh snap, he's gonna do it again! Abandon ship! He's gonna try again. He decided to give up trying to shoot me and he's just gonna run me over now. Don't hurt me. Ah, thank Good God. job on the Hector Lightning. Command sends Bravo Zulu on that engagement. Now that the Hector is neutralized, I am setting a new rally point for you. Head for the new waypoint and mop up any ravages you encounter Buffalo. along the way. Affirmative. What's that? Power boost. It looks like I picked up a new weapon or something. Sweet. Let's check it out after the level. Ow.
Hey, keep the language to a minimum, buddy. I'll try to keep a clean channel over here. I need you swearing and ruining my reputation. Okay, let's just be able to ravage this for a minute. Let's get to that extraction point, and there's more of them, of course. Why wouldn't there be more ravages? Not like we haven't killed enough of them already. At least there's not a great deal of them. Only like a million or so. Okay, another innocent building killed by you. I am not taking the blame for this. If anyone's getting court-martialed for improper use of equipment, it's gonna be you. Can't pin all of this on the Ravagers. Okay. Stand by. Oh, don't tell me we got more. Aha! Yep, I beat all of you. Sweet, rank 2. Good way into rank 1. Let's find out what we got. I found a shotgun. That's TS6 shotgun. Okay. Now I'm gonna head back. Quit. Ah. Yeah, uh, I can go to the next mission now. But, I think I'll leave it there for now. That mission took long enough on its own to probably fill a f full episode. So, I hope you enjoyed that folks. There'll definitely be more of it in the future. Who knows, maybe with some competent teammates in the near future. <laughs> That's probably my one criticism of the game, looking at that first level. It drags on a little bit too long in my opinion, and the AI is, well, not very good. I don't know, maybe it's just me, it is kind of late, but that level did seem to repeat, repeat a few too many times for my liking. It doesn't help that I had no idea what I was doing with that weapon set too. I didn't realize the jet trip was a lot different than the soldier. <laughs> anyway, that'll wrap up episode 1, I think. Maybe even episode 2 as well. Who knows? We'll see what happens when I get dead, I think. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Ronies, Pegasus, and Unbelievers. And I'll see you next time.